and the title of the webinar is All for One and One for All and obviously that's a little quote there from Alexander and Matt, um, the writer of the Three Musketeers um, and that's the idea that I'm going to come back to later um, about working as a team and working all together to try to reach the same goal. So first of all we're going to actually look at what collaborative learning is. Um, I'm sure most of you know that it's good to clarify to begin with. Um, and then we'll move up swiftly on to the benefits of collaborative learning, um, including um, collaborative classes and disability classes. Um, then we'll move on to look at how we set them up and then to look at how we can use the course book material that The main thing which is working together, which is yeah, really, really correct and working as a team and helping each other out. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Um, obviously you could work as group or teamwork. Um, and again, thinking of who you put together, you may have three, four, five, six in the group depending on what's practicing and think about that. Um, and obviously you've got whole class. Um, activities that you can do. Um, but if you've got a strong attack, you might want to step back all together and get one of your students to step in and look for you. So, for some of the benefits of collaborative learning, um, it develops obviously situations where they have meaningful conversation. And so, this means basically that they have got to talk together in order to. Um, decide things, agree things, etc., or top ideas. Um, makes them more flexible and makes them really helpful as well. Um, I think this means if you move them around into different pairs, they've got to quickly get a new working relationship together with a different group or pair that they're in. Um, and finally, respect for the individual, um, which again is a really important thing for our students to learn before they go out into um, adult life. Um, just if they are working with lots of different people in the group groups, and um, hopefully they will develop a respect for, for different individuals to help them. Um, it's important to um, have a feedback stage, so make sure you allow time for this. Um, just, um, just to look at examples of different things you could practice. Here, you could get students just to complete sentences and make it suggest. Um, and once they've done that, you might want them to check their answers and pairs by actually writing questions and asking the questions. Work together to make the course book reading task a little bit more clever. Um, looking at the grammar, throughout the reading text there's examples in blue like that, focusing on the grammar. Um, and what I did would be not for them to look at the grammar rules presented in the students' book, but to get them to write their own grammar rules. For listening tasks, it's a nice idea to um, use a, have a dictagloss. Basically, this is um, if you don't know what dictagloss is, it's just listening um, to a text and taking notes as you listen, and then getting together in groups or pairs and sharing what you what your notes are. And then for writing, um, collaborative writing works really well if your topic is something that is about a shared experience. So what I've got here is um, that they've got to write a recipe. Thank you so much for joining us.